Hey everybody! So I'm Zahira and I'm Chanel. Yes, I'm <laughs> my season six sister. Oh so today we are going to be getting ready together for a gig, and we will be talking all about Drag Race life. Yeah. Uh, sewing. The weirdness of being on a TV show that was filmed like eight months ago. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yes. I can't wait. Let's get into this and let's have a fabulous time. Absolutely. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> come, come. Let's go. We, let's yeah. go, girls. Let's go, girls. So, guys, me and Chanel are together. We have a gig and... We have T minus two hours to get ready for the gig. So we are... Blasting on faces. Absolutely. And the beauty of this is yes, there's a camera in our face. Yes. But there is no person behind the camera telling us to <laughs> talk about our childhood trauma experience. A little bit of a time machine here, you guys. But so you're seeing this after episode six has just been released. But for from our timeline, it's like six months before. The show, yeah. yeah, we're not even announced. So we walk right after each other, Chanel. So what was your first impression of um, going into the workroom, seeing everybody, you saw me, oh Chara, and Relisa at this point? Um, it's bizarre to think back to those moments because it feels so long ago. Right. But, but in that breath... It's not been a long time at all. It's not been that long time at all. No. Um, I'd met... Miss Zahira once before on a night out. Which I don't remember. Which she doesn't remember, but I remember. So I was like, I knew kind of who she was, and I knew she was very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And I knew she was good with hair. And it was such a weird experience walking in, because I was like, okay, you're walking, and then you have to suddenly have to be like, okay, I have to be friends with these people, and you have uh -huh. to like, you have to like suddenly get to know them, and be like, okay, what we, hi, all right, hi everyone, okay. For sure. What are we doing? And then what's this? And then who's saying this? And so who did you know coming into the show? I knew I'd worked with Kyron. I'd met Mark. Yeah. Oh, you have. Yeah, oh, okay. it was a weird one. We had done a gig in London together, and I remember when I started the gig with her, I was very anxious to work with her. Oh, and really? Then, yeah. Because I was like, I was like, oh my god, I've never met this person before. I don't mm -hmm. know what I'm going to be like. Boom, boom, boom. And was that in London? Yeah, that was in London. And then as we kind of did the gig, I was like, I like your energy. Who did you know? I knew Octavia because, as you guys have watched, I screamed when Octavia walked in. And in terms of the other people, I mean, I've, you know, you hear, you know, hearsays and hearsays. Yeah, of there's definitely, like, I think before you go, oh, hun, I was like, I felt like it was KGB. Like, I had spies everywhere being like, find me the names. Uh -huh. Find me who is on this. So you well, you're a big of, like, fan of the show. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this show. I think everybody who's involved should yeah, be a big fan absolutely. of the show and should appreciate it in all its forms. But I feel like I, you'd, I've been involved in it for so many years, whether it be making things for people or You made a friends. lot of Lawrence's yeah, runway yeah. package. Um, and then Friends being on it since that, like... Um, it's just nice. It's nice for us to get a shot. Do you know what I mean? That 100%. Is, it's nice for I'm us really, people. like, happy with, like, our season. So... First episode, we have got the talent show. So, what was the, <laughs> what was the prep and what was the thought process you know behind what? Happy Birthday? It's a weird one because I feel like I could have done like I speak to everyone. I'm like, oh my god, I could have done this. I could have done that. Mm -hmm. I could have picked this number to do. I could have, and even now, like I'll watch things and be like, oh god, maybe if I sang this, mm -hmm. or maybe if I did like a magic trick. Mm -hmm. But like in the moment, you it's are kind of so iconic convinced. now. Though yeah. you're so convinced it's a good idea, and to this day, I still think it's, it's bizarrely hilarious. And I don't know why my brain went there, but it did. But there's a bit at the beginning where, which Chanel does, where she gets out the lyrics of "Happy Birthday," <laughs> <laughs> and RuPaul says, "Just go through it." Just she work was like, she was it. like, because at this point, I'd walked out. And you looked I, so nervous. I looked so nervous, but like I was all acting. I was literally sat there like I know exactly what I'm doing. And I purposely sat, I remember sitting in the stool when we were like waiting for everyone to go. And I acted nervous in the stool. I was You so did! I, I was, was there, like, like Chanel is psyched the f out. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Like I'd whisper things out of my to be like just I think to get myself in the acting sense. Also I was pretty nervous because it is 
It was nerve wracking. I can't lie because we just walked into the workroom and then we have to do a challenge straight away. Uh -huh. And it's also like we're we're sniffing each other's assholes. We're trying to mm -hmm. see what everyone's doing. We're mm -hmm. trying to like suss each other out, suss each other out, and see what what we all offer as individuals. And yeah, I was like, well, this is what I'm going to offer as an individual. Mm -hmm. um, and it was bizarre, but yeah, I'm glad I did it. When I tell you this girl was like making stuff for her runway, <laughs> like the night before runway day, like she, you did the damn thing. Yeah, or it'd be like minutes before. Min minutes before, minutes before. Minutes before. What was, was your like proudest like runway moment? Because you made all of your package, which is so, so impressive, you guys. Thank you. Um, so what was like your proudest like runway moment? I think it was, um, or thing you wore in the show? I don't know, like I think the runway moment that I was most proud of was probably the sewing challenge. I, far, I really enjoyed doing the sewing challenge. Yeah. And I enjoyed having a bit of fun with it. Um, I just didn't, like I fundamentally didn't really like my options that I had, but then in hindsight, challenge are very strict and it's, that's what you have. You have to work with what you have. Well, but, yeah, I mean, we got a basket full of green fabric and I was like, we're gonna be red to filth because Michelle doesn't like green. <laughs> Which she didn't read us about the green, by the way. But, uh, but I was worried that, like, oh, we're gonna get red because it's all green. It's all green, and you're kind of you're stuck to something. I was like, this is a setup. So your proudest moment was the sewing challenge. And you looked amazing. And I loved, I loved doing it, and it was yeah. good fun, and I enjoyed working with the team, and um, and in, in all of it, through and through. It was one of my favourite things to do. And yeah. I think everyone said... That's your thing. That's my thing. Like, how, like... Because for you, like, what was your, like, proudest thing to do? Like, what did you have the most fun doing? I had the most fun... The... Probably, honestly, even though I got eliminated on that, on that episode, I had the most fun in girl groups. Absolutely. As, ex as exhausting as it was, you know, coming up with that verse, telling Alexandra Berg that I'm going to come inside her. <laughs> like... All of these things are just so funny to me and like yeah. I really wanted to and I think I did do well in the girl groups challenge anyway but I, I just had so much fun. The whole process was so much fun even though it was exhausting and I did definitely feel the pressure. Um, so yeah prob I'd probably say the girl groups to be honest. I, I would say girl groups for me was close second because yeah. Walking into girl groups day when we walked in, I didn't have a verse. I didn't yeah. understand how to like read the music. Like I, I did study music. I did get uh, an A in it, but I studied reading like sheet music, mm -hmm. not like listening to something and adding your own beats to it. So I was kind of like, what the? F I just didn't. I just didn't get it. Yeah. So it took me ages to understand. Oh, this is the rhythm. Yeah, this for is sure. What I'm singing. This is what I'm doing. And you were so good with me because I literally. At one point, I witnessed everyone else getting the, getting their lyrics, and I was there like, I have nothing. She had nothing. she had carrot rhyming with parrot. Yeah. Because where is Chanel? Something like that. I was like Chanel, the African great. Like I tried to like do so many things. Uh huh. And I was like F hell. And then you I, had to step away from the camera. Yeah. And like write like v like word vomit uh -huh. some lyrics out, and I was like Chanel, this isn't working. So me and Marmalade helped um, with. Well, I think a lot of people, yeah, like, yeah, it was like you and Marmalade sat me down and I had all these kind of bits together and then we just worked it. We just went, right, well, this bit can go here and this bit can go here and then mm -hmm. this bit can go here. And I'd be like, okay, well, that rhymes with that and we can do this and do this. But I thought about this and then you'd be like, no, don't do that. That's and it, it would just, it naturally made sense. And I also think about this when it comes to these kind of group challenges, all of us wanted to do well. Mm hmm. Nobody, like, if it was going to be, like, for the real horrible thing, y'all could have just left me and I would have been there, like, Chanel, Chanel, mm -hmm. does my fanny smell? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, yes. Like, Do you want to know? I would have, I would have straight up done that. And you know, it was so funny. There was a moment that I was, when I was, I was taken away into a little room because I was having a bit of a moment and a mm -hmm. bit of a panic. And I was, like, challenge. I just need a bit of time by myself because I'm, I'm really, like, Struggling. I'm really struggling yeah. because like hearing everyone else's verses, I could not, I, nothing else was going in. Yeah. Um, and I remember sitting in the room and I said to them, I was like, what if I just refuse to do it? What if I just, <laughs> what if I just say I'm not doing it? Mm -hmm. Like what would happen? What would be, what would happen? Would you do the show again? So if RuPaul calls you 
and invites you to do another season, whether it be an All Stars or a Versus. Or even come and clean our shoes. I yeah. Would. Like, I think in life. If RuPaul calls, you say yes. Yeah, I think in life, you always have to say yes to any opportunity that comes your way. Yes, there's balances. Yes, there's situations that happen. Like, financially, you can be in different situations. I can understand that. But, Diva, sometimes in life, you only get like one little chance. Yeah. And you have to literally take it by the by. And if you get a second chance, not everybody gets a second chance no. either. No. Um, so, Snatch Game happens, so when RuPaul announces, hello, 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 it's time for the Snatch Game. It's time for the Snatch Game. Um, what's going through your head? Do you, do you go into the challenge feeling confident? Like, I, what's, like, what's the team? When we started the day, I was like, so, to give you guys background, we are worked, it's long days, it's long hours, it's, it's a long process that you're there. So you're perpetually just exhausted. Oh, 100%. I was necking down Red Bulls mm -hmm. when I don't do that in regular life. Yeah. I don't do that. You That's just me. would be so tired yeah. that you were like, yeah, let's just do it, let's just do it, let's just do it. So you didn't even think about it. You, you, just, you like, just had to go, right, let's go. Okay, okay. So you wouldn't even have a chance to think about it. And yeah. it was only after, like, I felt a little bit of, like, anxiety because I was like... The whole cast was amazing. Everyone oh, was yeah. so talented. For sure. That like you would think you would succeed in something and you wouldn't. You mm -hmm. just wouldn't. You would be like, oh my god. 100%. Someone was a bit funnier. One person, their jokes landed better than yours. Yeah. Like that's just how it was. So you did Coco Peru. Um, and next week I get to meet her. I'm Do you going, really? Yeah, I'm going to go um, and meet her in Glasgow. Oh my god. So wow. I can't f wait. Because um, it'll be like a nice full circle moment of me to be able to like apologise. And you can take a picture with her and post it on Facebook yep. now. And be like, da 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 da. Yeah. But the point of the story is, you can study this show. You can um, you can watch every season. You can watch every <laughs> vapid part of it in mm -hmm. any brand, in any place. Until you're there, it is completely different. Oh, 100%. I've watched watch so many seasons of this show, both US, UK, down under, the Philippines, France, like... No matter how many seasons you watch of this show, once you're actually there, it's such a different experience. And I would say to the girls who are thinking of auditioning or, or, or in the audition process, I would say two things. Apart from runways, challenges, verses, and anything like that, I, like, I would say make sure of two things. Like, make, um, make sure your mental health is in a good place. Yeah, if you're not able to run run at full capacity there yeah you will find it hard like there was moments of there was so much self-doubt myself mm -hmm. and it was eating away at me 100 percent. and i'm time. i'm a confident person but i felt myself like getting like losing track of that whilst i was on the show so that's one thing and then the second thing is be prepared to be just exhausted so mental health and exhaustion exhaustion and your stamina like you literally need to be ready to be thrown in at the deep end at any moment but then also like just have that energy reserve yeah um, for sure but the point of the story was um at that point in the competition i was very much feeling like it was all getting to me i was very i was running out of steam a bit yeah um and it got to this episode and i just wasn't funny i just what i didn't have funny answers and in the moment you think this would work you think this would be funny you think you think it might come across like this mm -hmm. you do it and it doesn't and you're kind of like and Chanel is so funny. Chanel comes out with the best, like, one-liners and, like, the best, like, oh, one-liner reads and stuff, like, throughout the season. So, like, you know what? Someday, one day, you might just have a bad day. Oh, it's just that. And that one day, like, like, you, I still to this day with the girl group, you're such a talented dancer. For you Thank to go home you. with the girl group. Thank it was you. always such a perplexing moment for me of being like, okay... You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, it just might be a moment that everybody is really good that day. Mm -hmm. And you just have one thing that, that slips you up. Mm -hmm. And as the competition got more and more intense and less people were there, we all did feel that, that it was just getting down to the nitty gritty. It's my turn. It's my turn. I've, I've been pretty good going so far. It's my turn to kind of have a little go lip syncing mm -hmm. and being in the bottom and feeling that fantasy for a minute. And, and I'll tell you this, it is not fun. No. It's not fun no. when you're up there. Lip syncing for the win versus lip syncing for the for your life is two different things. 
you still feel the same intensity. Like I felt the same intensity of like, I just want to do it proud. I want to really just give it my all. Of course. But the first time I had nothing to lose. Yeah. The second time I had everything in the world to lose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just, you just do it. And we were talking about earlier, when you're in that moment, I became a bit blind. I became a bit like I didn't look at Relisa I didn't really see her I just kept staring at the judges I felt like I lost all senses when I looked at yeah. my life you, I would lose rhythm I'd forget what part of the song it was and like you just you're just so in the moment mm -hmm. that you forget that everything else it, do you know what I think it was an out of body experience I felt like I was watching myself mess up the lip sync in front of the person who sings the song if, like, that moment oh. felt, like, very out of body for me. I felt like I was watching myself mess up. And that wasn't fun. Mm. With regards to the show, is there anything that you would change if you were to go back or, um, any regrets? I wish I spent more time at the start prepping. I spent about a week and a half designing everything. Yeah. When I should have maybe been like, right, I've designed this, let's make that. Yeah, and let's, go, let's go, go, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I wish I started kind of prepping things a wee bit earlier. And I was so hung up sometimes on the tiniest of details that wasted so much time in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. That I was like, why the f am I sat here like really going over the tiniest thing. I'm a very last minute kind of person in my life. So oh, we, like, I know that for sure. Oh, yeah. I was always the first one ready and Chanel would always be the last. It was either me or Lil that was last. I hated having to lip sync in my doctor outfit. Yeah. And um, there was no physical way on earth that I would be able to change it mm -hmm. because of how I engineered it. And I was actually, I was like, um, could I you move in it? zip tied into it. Yeah. Um, I could move in it to a certain extent, but then I didn't, I, I just, it's, it was such a clunky costume. Yeah, it, it was, was never, bulky. It was never designed for you to move it. For me to move it. Because Chanel's a move, uh, Chanel is a visual artist, I would say. I'm a that. park and bark kind of girl. Yeah. I, I much prefer just doing a gorgeous little silhouette and a gorgeous outfit. Yes, I can perform. But I do prefer a slower song. Yeah. I do prefer something with a bit of drama to it. I love a ballad, me. Oh, I love a park yeah. and bark. Oh, yeah. Actually, I had to explain to the girls what a park and bark was. Wait. Episode one. I love a park and bark. I love a park and bark song where I just stand there and just like... Just give drama. Just give it. Just give face and give good mouth. And that's why I was so disappointed of doing the lip sync because I didn't give good mouth. Makeup. Do you have any favourite makeup brands, Chanel? Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder of a bit of everything. I love to use a bit of this, a bit of that. Are um, you a strictly high end or? Um, I always find for me. Store. Um, if you find something that works for you, works for you. There's certain things that I think you should spend money on. I think a good foundation and a good base always really helps. Absolutely. Good setting products. Good. Um, good strong powders and especially this was one thing for the show and this is why I was really I was really grateful for um, I'm friends with a few like makeup artists that have been in the game for a very long time shout out to Ellis and Sire they Period. literally were like they were like hey girl so you need to use this primer this set spray this thing this thing and you use this and then for highlighter because you're on camera you need to remember to do x y and z mm -hmm. because you need to remember your yes you're a drag yes you're doing this but you're also filming a television show yeah. where you can be washed out by all the colours, mm -hmm. by all the, sorry, you can be washed out by all the lights. So you have to make sure your blush is intense. Mm -hmm. Your highlighter is intense, but also not too intense that you look completely crazy. So there's there's tricks to the trade. Um, how did you find doing your makeup on the show? Great. Because I do TV makeup all the time. Like I've done like clients for photo shoots, video shoots. Um, I knew that, do you know like the kind of like harsh, harsh, geometric cut contours and stuff? That doesn't work for TV because it just, yeah, it ends up looking really, really harsh. So I need to be blended, which is my brand anyway. I think we can't, we can't, me and Chanel kind of come from the same school of... We like lovely things. We like to look gorgeous and soft. Yes. And 
that was definitely on the show a bonus. Absolutely. The thing that was the hard thing for me was the... It was the, yes, you have three hours to get ready. Yes, you have two and a half hours to get ready. Yes, you have an hour and a half to ch change your makeup from one thing to another. But it's the talking in between. Yeah. <laughs> and it, you can talk, girl. Oh, girl, you I can talk. love it. So on that note, what is your favourite makeup brand, Chanel? <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I would say Fenty. My yeah, I love Fenty. Fenty. I love Highlighters, Fenty. Fenty. Um, but then also, like, I'm just such a, like, diva, you could put anything in front of me and I'm sure I could just make it work. Uh -huh. I have, I've used so many makeups throughout the years. I've been doing drag for, like, eight years now. Uh-huh. Wow. That I kind of feel like I've used a bit of everything. What are your go-to products? Like, you cannot live without them. You'll continue to repurchase them. I use a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream which really helps to kind of soften the skin, gets my skin really nice and prepped for just going for it. Mm -hmm. um, I use a Kat Von D, oops, I use a Kat Von D eyeliner that's so pointy and just beautiful. Kimchi White. Oh, Kimchi White I've, you know, I've never tried it. Is it any good? It's, it's so good. I used to use TV Paint Stick, but now using this, I just love how soft it goes on. I can really build up the colour um, and yeah, I don't know. I have so many to pick from. They're the three that I would say. <laughs> oh my God. You. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whilst we were filming the show, who was your closest friend? Who did you confide with and who did you, who's like your confidant whilst you were there? I think it changed, but like for me, the the person that I always would go to was the people within Teams N. Like yeah. I would, I know me, me and Marmalade had our like argument, but you best believe like a, like in your terms, it's a week, but for us, yeah. it was a day later. Yes, yes, I, yes, yes. I, me and Marmalade didn't speak for like we had our argument, we did the acting challenge, and then literally the next day we were speaking and we were asking each other like, yeah, what we think and how we're doing and how we're feeling and if we're okay. She was someone who I was always, like, bouncing off with. And yeah, yeah, yeah. With. Same with Lil. I was always, like, right, Lil. Lil was the one that I would be like, okay, like, what do I do? I'm confused with this. What should I do with this? What should I do with that? And then mm -hmm. they would help kind of, like, guide me through things. Because I think sometimes when you're there, you can be so nose blind. You can be everything blind. You can be everything blind. You can just be blind. Yeah. <laughs> You can just be straight up like. Is there any runways that you would change now looking back? I would love to have maybe like... If you do a redemption runway. Probably nature. I would love to have made that just a bit more fabulous and a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, nature was one of the last things to be made. Mm -hmm. um, the corset itself is like fully like a steel frame that I had to like hand bend and like shape and frame it mm -hmm. so trying to get all that perfect was a lot mm -hmm. um and it wasn't even the paint wasn't even dry when it was packed oh really you know so i remember opening it and being like please 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 be okay that would be the, the one i would do again if mm -hmm. i'm honest what about yourself do you know what i would change even though at the time it was successful if it was not a group challenge. If I had more time to myself and the sewing challenge, I would have obviously made it more extravagant. But well, given thing, that like... I, it was a team and I wanted my team, and it's very Zahira of me to be like that helpful and like, you know, sew parts of, sew a lot of like Kyron's and Octavia's pieces together. Um, so I would have just given myself but we a little all, more time. But that's the point with that challenge. We all wanted each other to do amazing so we yeah because like, we didn't know if it was going to be judged in groups or we didn't know how it was going to be judged so we all as our individual groups really made sure that we were working well as a team yeah and making something fabulous as a team yeah so then when it's not judged as a team you're kind of raging because you're kind of sat there like well you made that outfit well i made that so like so uh right okay but that would be my advice for anyone else going in don't be like me and Zahira and be nice. Sometimes just let people fail. And let Chanel rhyme carrot with parrot. Yeah. <laughs> just let me let me rhyme carrot with parrot. Let me literally be in front of Alexandra Burke and be like, Chanel, Chanel. <laughs>
there's so much running through your head at the same time. Oh, or like how maybe how how am I coming across? Mm -hmm. What my what what does my brows look like? Mm -hmm. um, specifically for Octavia. <laughs> How's my lace front doing? Specifically for Octavia. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a sexy orange smoky eye. Stunning. And call it a f day. I'm doing this kind of like, kind of like a halo situation. Will you talk Miss Kyron how to do a f halo? Now that's all she does. Kyron's makeup was told to be like, you know, just try Kyron's makeup was botched. So Hyra fixed it. No, Gary just got a critique about her geometric makeup and was like, um, okay, we need, we want it, well, we want you to change it up for an episode. And so I taught her to do a halo eye, you know, we chucked some rhinestones in there. She got called the prettiest she's ever been on stage and now that's her look. And I so love Miss Kai. What's a fun or like funny little behind the scenes tea? Like maybe like when we were... When we were backstage waiting for, to do interviews or anything like that, or like any funny little moments that you think, oh. There was, I don't know, there's so many stupid times that we would just sit there. I think um, one of my favourite was always like when any man was in the room, Zahira would be very like. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be wet. Just be like, hey there, baby, how's it going? Like, you would just see her mm -hmm. like demure, like she'd be like, she'd be on the punt. Mm -hmm. She'd be on the pool. And there was such gorgeous um cameraman everything like that that like you just were like, ooh sometimes you're like, ooh. Honestly you guys, I was so, so <laughs> H word during the whole process of the show. Like I was the horniest out of everybody, I think, right? But it was, it wasn't even that, it was just because there was male attention and I just loved watching you being like... I am such a flirt outside okay. of the show, you guys. I'm and such a massive flirt. Loved it. Hi, I'm Zahira, nice to meet you. I am your future wife. Um, oh. so yeah. Um, so what are you doing tonight? <laughs> After the show. And then you would find out they all have husbands and boyfriends. You yeah, know. and girlfriends too. And some girlfriends of them. too. Quick fire questions, okay? Quick fire, okay? quick fire questions. Okay, quick fire questions. Who, who do you, you who do you fancy the most out of production? Okay. This guy called and I called him and I literally was like, anytime he was in the room, I would just be like, he's mine. Uh -huh. He literally is mine. And anyone who spoke to him, I would be like, name one queen you'd kai kai with. Relisa. Ooh. Relisa was so like gorgeous. Upon entering the workroom, who was your biggest competition? Kyron. Kyron and Marmalade for me were the two people that like really stuck out. Mm -hmm. Favourite challenge? The, do you know what? I'm going to say it. Um, the girl group. See recording a song with Alexandra Burke. What the f***? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What Absolutely. Least favourite challenge? Oh my god. Well Snatch Game was horrid but um, I hated the acting. I just wasn't in the mood for it because I just had the fight with Marmalade and I felt like everyone hated me. So I was like, right, well, I'm just going to be a little bit of a, a Debbie Downer and I'll just get this over and done with and if I go home, I go home. Are we gorgeous? Are we gorgeous? Are we gorgelina, Sanchalina? Miss Gaga. Miss Gaga right here, Ms. period. Gaga. So, in about 10 minutes, we're about to be on stage and we're still here. And we, to, <laughs> and we have to, pretend, and we have to pretend like we don't know each other. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to the gig, and we have to be like, "Oh my god, hi, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you! I've never met you before in my entire life. Oh, that's amazing! Absolutely. So what's your name again, honey? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway. Chanel. Um, so now, life after the show. What are we looking forward to? So it's gonna be a lot of, I don't know. For me, life is fluid. I'm gonna poo a lot, I'm gonna pee a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm also, I want to... Are you still open for commissions? I am gonna do wee bits and bobs of my own designs, mm -hmm. which will be great. I want to do like sewing workshops mm -hmm. and like, um, I also want to kind of focus a lot of more things in Scotland. I want to go back to Scotland a wee bit more and do something Absolutely, there. absolutely. Um, and then I want to explore YouTube and explore like, things like that. Where can we find you, Chanel? So I am Chanel O'Connor, obviously. And you can find me on socials, medias, you can find me in prison. Yes, you can, you can find, find all of her socials right here and in the description bar below. And with all that said, 
Hope you enjoyed <laughs> the rest of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6. This has been Zahira. And I've been Chanel Connor. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.